Hello to users, today I'm gonna do the unboxing of this Inac Fire Future uh, earbuds. So apparently this is one of the most best selling earbud uh, at Amazon at the moment and it's a great discount, 68% discount. So you could buy it for 40 pounds uh, and um, etc. So the reason I'm buying this, as you know, I already have a Bang & Olufsen uh, E8 and uh, it's a very expensive product. It's about 300 pounds, $300 ish. And I just don't want to risk it. And I need, what I mean by not risking is because I need something for a workout. Um, I'm going back to the regime of jogging and I just thought that I would do this one. And um, it's a very good price. So basically this is a waterproof. It does say it's waterproof for, for workout. Stable signal, designed to live in your ears, blah, 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 blah. I think it has a better battery life, actually. Bang & Olufsen is known to have about seven to eight hours, I think, and this is about 12 hours, is it? 18 hours, sorry, and four hours of continuing playing per uh, charge as well, and ergonomic design, etc. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. All right, so, okay. Always these stuffs are challenging, but we'll get there. All right, so to start with, you cannot hear any shaking sound, which is good. It means it's quite well packed. So the moment of truth, I'm sure many of you have seen this, but uh, yeah. Right, so there you go. That's the case. It's actually much smaller than I thought, compact, which is great. So got a bit of a seal, seal there. So let's just get rid of that. Right, so comparing to Bang & Olufsen E8, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, and um, it looks like, ah, so there's the earbud itself. Okay, so it's not charging it. Oh, did you see that battery light coming on? Oh, we just missed that. Anyway, so um, yeah, it is actually charging. Um, the quality is plasticky. Uh, it's not as good as the premium leathery feel that you get. But hey, I mean, what do you expect? It's not as expensive. All right, so let's see what's inside. So we got some bag for extra rubber tip end and it also the um, pass certificate, April of 2019. What's this? A guaranteed card. Okay. Well, that's good. Three months replacement full or a full re refund, a 12 months warranty. Okay. So that's not bad. We've got a typical a USB charger cable there, which is brilliant. And also, um, what's this? The smile card or not happy card. Oh, it's just basically some sort of a um, happy or not happy sort of feedback card and the manual. Okay. So the general manual and etc. And finally, a rather cheapish feel extra protection bag for you to put on uh, the uh, case so I guess if you need it yeah why not so that's pretty much it inside the box all right before I listen to the music uh, sound test etc these are the quick manuals so power on you just take it out from the uh, charging case and it's pretty standard I mean you press the right hand side for about two seconds um, you don't really need an app Bang & Olufsen actually has an app um, but you do the pairing this way and device will be out of connection distance blah, blah, blah. and um, answering calls so you can answer the call there's a microphone there and um, if you want to play music you just press on the left hand side and then forward and backwards which is quite convenient left right uh, on each way to uh, track uh, forward and backwards for the music and it's pretty standard so yeah, I just want to give you an idea on how this works, charging and etc. Right, so the connection pretty standard. So if you take out the earbud, it actually will say in a very 
not really that good professional sound, but a female voice saying left and right um, earbuds. So if you just go and click on that, and um, you just go through the instructions and etc. So what I have is a uh, Virtuous Sanity by Jamara Kwai. It's remastered and I just thought it's one of the best tracks that you could do sound test because it has jazz, a bit of jazz and rap, hip hop and etc. So anyway, let's get on with this because sound matter most. Okay. It's not bad so far. Let's go to the main side of it to save time. Actually, for copyright reason, I can't really play you the music, but I could explain. It's not bad. It's not bad, actually. It's loud. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, sorry to ignore you a bit there. So basically my, um, I can immediately tell that uh, the sound quality is not as good as Van Orton Yade and it's not a surprise, but the beat is, is a bit muted, it's not that clear. Uh, sharp sound is not bad, uh, but it's not that, it, it's it's slightly blurred in some way. I, that's all, all I want to say, but it's not bad, it's just really good. Um, it's one of the best selling um, earbuds in, in Amazon at the moment and I think for the value you get for uh, £35, it's not bad, but the quality itself, I mean, I can't see it being that you can use it for several years, should I say, but um, it, it does the job. Um, I think it would be perfect for me to use it for, um, as I said, exercise, because I do sweat a lot. Um, so I think this would be quite suitable. Maybe if I just do change the rubber tip, it might uh, enhance the sound quality, who knows, but uh, it's not it's not that bad actually and it's quite light it fits well so uh, i'm going to do a bit of an exercise i mean next time what i'm going to do is probably i'm going to do the comparison between those two three for sound quality at the moment i'm not capable to do it but i'll do that next time but anyway i hope this gave you a bit of an idea of what this product is um there's a charging in the back um as you know all pretty standard and um, yeah one of the best selling earbuds in amazon at the moment and um for the value it's pretty good, but not as good as Bang & Olufsen. I'm yet to see a earbud that beats Bang & Olufsen. I'm sure there's many out there, but uh, for the price, I guess, is what you get. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Bye-bye.